Welcome back, everybody. The Honolulu Museum of Art is making some changes, so the next time you visit, you might see something new. John visited the museum to check out a couple of the galleries. At the Honolulu Museum of Art with Catherine Whitney. Thank you so much for having us. You are the Director of Curatorial Affairs here. What does that mean? Right, so I lead the strategic direction of the curatorial department. So I work with all the curators and the collections team, and we work to keep the art safe, well protected, and also try to change things up a lot in our displays, and we coordinate exhibitions for the benefit of uh, the community, basically, and old and new audiences. Somebody may come to the museum and think, I've already seen the room, I've already seen the pieces, but that's not true. You guys actually change things up a bit, don't you? Yeah, one thing we're really committed to, sort of our New Year's resolution, is to um, reinterpreting and reimagining um, two galleries a year. So we're here in Gallery 1, and we just reinstalled this as we did um, Gallery 2 next door in December. And so every year you can expect a complete redo of how we present the works, kind of by thematic um, topics and trying to make it a little more fresh and interesting new stories. And the piece that stands out the most is right behind us. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, happily. This piece is by Nick Cave, who is a contemporary artist from Chicago, who is very inspired by the Rodney King beatings in 1991 and the resulting LA riots. And he started developing these sound suits that you'll see that are very bright and colorful, made of textiles and sequins, as a way to sort of have almost a suit of armor against these stereotypes and discriminations of, of different people. Um, he also wanted to acknowledge that people should accept everybody for what they are, regardless of what they look like, whether they're black, brown, white, green, orange, whatever. And he has these elaborate um, costumes that people are drawn to, but then the closer you get and the more you realize there's a lot more to these sound suits than just the kind of bling on the outside. It really is a piece that stands out the most in this particular room. How does it connect or stand out with the other pieces in the room? Well, this whole room is unified by the theme of the human body. And it looks at different cultural expressions through time and through different cultures of how artists represented the human form. And so this Nick Cave behind us is by a contemporary African-American artist from Chicago. And it's called 826, which references George Floyd's death. So this is a really relevant contemporary piece that lures people in by its beauty and its wow, but also talks about different bodies through different cultures and maybe less represented voices that we've had through time and really spotlighting those and putting those front and center. You mentioned the other room and it is called? Treasures of Devotion. Can we go take a look at uh, some of the differences in that room? Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Treasures of devotion. I look around and I see a lot of children in some of the pictures. Yeah. Families. Is that something? Am I picking up on something there? I guess you are. It's probably not an intentional motif, but it's definitely in here. There are also animals, you'll notice. Mm. So the theme in this gallery is devotion, and specifically emotional and spiritual devotion to family, to faith, to community. Um, and so the artists here are 14th to 18th century American and European artists who use beautiful silks, oil paint, gold, um, to kind of evoke this sort of divine um, emotion. And sometimes that just means glorifying their children in a family portrait that a patron commissioned from an artist. Somebody wants to come down, take a look at the rooms that we've been in. Uh, could you give us your hours of operation and the days that you're open? Yes, of course. Um, we are open from Wednesday through Sunday, and we have extended hours Saturday and Friday nights till 9 o'clock. Our website is honolulumuseum.org. And that's a good place to find out uh, exactly what hours you can come down and check it out yourself. Thank you so much for the tour. I appreciate I'm it. I'm so glad you guys came. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's a good idea to refresh some of the rooms mm -hmm. and it keeps people coming back and keep, uh, keeping people interested in the art. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great idea and, and uh, it is very nice and I suggest you head on down there if you're interested in the, the Honolulu Museum of Art and its pieces.
to go down and check it out. Yeah, there's always something new there. The last time I was there, I did a story about their mirror installation yeah. for Thanksgiving. And then you go back a couple weeks, and then it's like a whole new exhibit, a whole new gallery. Yeah, so. we've, done a, we've done a story there also where you peel back some of the, right. the, the stickers, and it yeah. reveals what's behind it. Well, that's also been somewhat revealed, and you can see that as well.